and a welcome back guys to a brand new video and today we are here for the second upload of the day if you did miss out on the first one. Earlier on we decided to do another level 0 AI challenge. I would highly highly recommend going back and checking out but today we are here for the Singapore Grand Prix challenge and I decided you know this week we, we'd take it back in time a bit and we'd, we'd actually go back and try out the car that was at the original. Singapore Grand Prix. I've always wanted to drive this car a little bit more. Lewis Hamilton's 2008 championship winning McLaren. And I think Singapore really was probably the race that Lewis Hamilton was able to win the season. You know, obviously we had Ferrari with all their issues and it really, really did help Lewis out. But all the normal stuff, you know, start from the back, last to wherever we can try and climb. Uh, all Ultimate AI, all the jazz, no assists apart from racing line just because I this is the first time I think I've actually driven the Singapore Grand Prix circuit. But here we are then, on the grid, ready for the Singapore Grand Prix. 20 of these MP4-23s on the grid here, roaring V8, but it's five lights on the grid, ready for the Singapore Grand Prix, and it is lights out, and away we go, and off to actually a very decent start there, as we try and get between it, the two cars ahead of me there, unfortunately, just a little bit of wheel spin, and down in towards turn one there, that car on the inside, unfortunately, I don't know names, obviously, of the AI, because they don't have proper licensing, but through Turn 1 and turn 2 we go, try and hold it right around the outside of, I think that's Clark there as we go, try to swing it right around the outside there, losing the back end ever so slightly, but we've got the inside for turn 3 there, so we are able to hold on to that position for now, up to P19 of the races, we've got Marino and Barnes just up the road here, going side by side, Marino decides to back out of that, we're going to try and go for a very, very late lunge on the pair of them there, down in towards turn 4, there are a little bit of contact made as we try to barge out, I think that was Barnes through the corner there, but diving it now down the inside of Calabresi and Gilles there through the next corner there. Gilles just cuts right across me there through the exit of that corner, so a little bit annoyed about that. But, you know, it's nice to see that the AI are so much more racy on this game than they have been in the past. But coming through now in towards the end of Sector 2 of this lap, and, I, I you know, I've grown to like this sector of the Singapore Grand Prix, and especially in a car like this, it is really, really good fun there as you try to dive down the inside of Giles there. We're going to nearly have a look down the inside of Schiffer just ahead of himself there, but unfortunately, we do not make two positions there. We still make up one, and we are up into P15 of the Grand Prix here, closing up even more to Schiffer through the next couple of corners there, but I don't think we're going to be able to go for a move now. And as we skip on to the end of lap two here, we're now all over the back of him as we come on to lap three here. DRS would be enabled if, you know, it was a real thing back in these times, but down the inside in towards turn one, there we go, up now into P14 of the race, lose the back end ever so slightly on the exit, but unfortunately for him, he is not able to get the car far enough alongside, and has to almost take evasive action there, or he would have been understeered right into the side of me there, but now we're up into P14, trying to close down the gap to Belusov, I think the name is there, I, I'm going to butcher so many names in this video, you know, there is no even denying that, but down in towards the end of the second sector once more, and we're all over the back of the other McLaren drivers. Well, they're all McLaren drivers in this Grand Prix. Losing the back end massively there, and we're somehow just about going to get the car down the inside. They're almost evasive action, if you will. But now we're going to be on the inside. It turns to the outside towards the next corner here, but we're going to be side by side with Belusov here. He's going to try and squeeze me out. We're going to go ever so slightly later on the brakes and hook up a beautiful run right around the outside, if I do say so myself. But now up into P13 of the Grand Prix here, and next up we have got Le Tournu, I think it is, I, that is just a horrible name to try and pronounce, we think about going for a move down the inside in towards the Singapore Sling there, we're going to go for a bit of a switchback move, completely cut the curbs, so I'm going to back out of the position for now, that we've got another driver trying to look down on the inside there, we're going to go back down the inside of Le Tournu there, are we going to be able to hold on to the position for now, we squeeze him out wide on the exit of the corner there, nearly put him in the wall accidentally there, but we now move up into P12 of the Grand Prix here, and next up, on my hit list is Izumi there, so I think that is the Japanese driver in this Grand Prix. And as we come to the end of lap four, you can see the timing screens are alight at the moment with purple times. And as we come through the final corner here, we get a very, very good run on Izumi here. We've got the two cars ahead of him going side by side, but we're going to have a look down the inside in towards turn one there, just about to get the car slowed down, lose the back end absolutely massively there through the corner. But we do hold on now, and we now move up into P11 of the Grand Prix here. Next up, on my hit list is Nevis here. I think he's going to be in P10 at the moment. We're going to get a very, very good run out of the next corner here. Stretch the gears out as far as you possibly can. And we're down the inside. He gives me the squeeze nearly into the wall there. But we're going to be on the outside. A four turn five here. Going to break as late as possible there. And just about able to go right around his outside there. And now up into P10 of the Grand Prix. It would be a point-paying position 
if this was the 2017 season. But unfortunately, this is 2008. We need to try and get a top 10 to try and... Uh, sorry, a top 8 to try and score those points. And that will probably be the aim at the moment as we're trying to close in on Correra, I think it is. I don't know. 100% sure there. But coming through the next couple of corners here, we are going to be able to close down that gap quite a bit as we go over the bridge there. Now, moving on to the end of lap 8 here. And we are still closing in on Carrera here. We're going to get a very, very good run. Trim the curbs ever so slightly down after the Singapore sting there. But we're going to have a good run over the bridge there. Dive it down the inside. A very, very late lunge into the hairpin there. And we're now going to still be on the outside of him there. He's just about going to keep the car ahead of me there. We're going to go for the switchback move though. Duck into the slipstream. Duck back out of the slipstream later on the brakes. And we now move up into P9 of the Grand Prix there as we squeeze out him nice and wide there. And next up is quite a way up the road actually. He's got about four or five second lead over myself at the moment. So it's going to be interesting to see how well we do fare. And by lap 14, we've finally been able to close up. And I think that, I don't even know how I'm even going to attempt to pronounce that name. I T U. I, I can't even even begin to imagine that. But anyway, no matter that, we're going to try and look down the inside in towards the bridge section. My favourite corner to go for overtakes, are on, uh, it seems, on this game. We dive it down the inside. He is going to get a slightly better run than myself on the exit of the corner. Then we're just going to try and duck in the slipstream there. Go for the switchback move. Do exactly what we did to the driver just before that. And now he's going to try and swing it right around the outside there. But unfortunately, he does back out of the position there. So up now into P8 of the Grand Prix. What would actually be a points paying position as well. So very, very ideal that we are now up into the points from last on the grid in this Singapore Grand Prix. And next up is Vasir, I think that is. I don't even know. Uh, once more, you know, some of the names they've opted to pick on this game are a little bit, you know, awkward for commentators. You know, you've just got no idea how to pronounce them there. But coming on into the final lap of the Grand Prix, unfortunately, you know, we're not going to be able to close in on the Vissier driver there, obviously in another one of these McLaren MP4-23s. But this car, a huge amount of fun. I would highly recommend going and checking out, you know, if you've got some spare time around this track as well. You know, it's very, very good fun. One of the first cars actually to go without traction control you know, it's the start of the no traction control era of Formula 1 once again there. But Michalski, I think that is, was able to come through and win the Grand Prix. But we're going to come from P20 on the grid to come through and finish P8 in the Singapore Grand Prix. So P8 in the end of the Singapore Grand Prix there. Pretty damn good result. And as I said, you know, these cars are very, very good fun to drive in all honesty, guys. But hopefully... You know you have enjoyed this video. Do not forget to like, subscribe Welcome if you want to see more of these Grand Prix challenges. As well as my Level 0 AI series. F1 2017 McLaren Honda career mode. F1 2017 Weber's Return career mode. And also my F1 2012 Matt's career mode. That has just made a return to the channel. But as I said, hopefully if you're new around here you have liked and subscribed. Hoping to try and hit 3k subscribers very, very soon. But thank you ever so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time for a brand new video. Oh, yeah.